Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also create parameters in your query criteria that will prompt you to enter in the value which will then be used as the query criteria value for the query before returning the result set. This is tremendously helpful as it prevents many hours of editing and changing query criteria. Each query with parameters in the criteria becomes more reusable as each time that the query is run it will prompt the user to input the parameter values used as the query criteria which you can then easily change on the fly when you run the parameterized query. For example, suppose that every day hundreds of donation records were entered into a nonprofit organization's donations database. Let's also suppose that you were responsible for finding all records entered from the previous day and double checking their spelling accuracy and address information. You certainly wouldn't want to have to sort through all the records in the database tables to find the ones that were entered the day before. Even if you created a query that found the records for the previous day's data entry without parameters, you would have to open the query in Design View each day and edit the criteria values before running it. Instead, you can create a parameterized query that will prompt you to enter a value for the specified field, in this case something like an entry date field, that the query will then use to find those records that match the value which you entered when you opened the query. To create a parameter query, construct your query as normal. Then click into the QBE grid underneath the field for which you want to set up a criteria parameter. To enter the parameter, type an open bracket, followed by what you want the parameter prompt to display, and ended with a closed bracket. Parameters can also be used in conjunction with other operators and conditions like the between and clause. This can be helpful in finding records in a range that you specify when you run the query. The syntax would be similar to the following. Between, open bracket, type the first date here, close bracket, and, open bracket, type the last date here, close bracket. When you run the query, you could then just input the values that you want. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.